I believe that if this cable is cut, this is like dead light. Let's look. Yes, this is dead, but look, this is okay. And now we are even lucky, because we can see that this is working, but this is dead. And when, when, when I connect these cables, soon these lights also works. Okay, and then when we need to connect these two cables to get her, we have to do this basic thing. This is like my demonstration electric cable, that we have to take this copper, this, this silver or brown thing is metal, copper, and this is protective cover, this white. And we have to take this copper out because soon we do connection. And connection means that when we have two cables, we install this in this way and then we need to rotate that in like twist this way. This is like information to you. And now there is nice connection and then I paint that in here and then I need this high quality electric tape and now I use this like uh, blue one and the best one is that when we use this 3M Scott electric tape this is like plastic tape and electric elastic this is, this is easy to movable and now I need to do like an extra cover in here. This is only information to you that how we soon repair this broken cable. And this means that in this way I install this protective electric tape in here and I have to check that there is no any metallic things visible. All of these copper parts must be hidden in this way. And now, finally, I a little bit bend and I scratch this cable. And now we have good electric cable connection and also protective this cover. What makes this electricity to move in right way and there is no any electric shortcut or cuttings. And now we need to do similar thing in these my cables. And Let's go to look at how we do that. And firstly, I have to take this copper out and then I need maybe a little bit spare cable. If I have electric cable, I can loan these cables in here. But then I can also do so that I little bit move these cables in that way and then I connect these things. And now this is difficult thing because that part is so short and that's I have to little bit open that connection. Okay, and now this opening means that I have to take this protective, this rubber away and when I have sharp knife I can carefully like little bit cut and move this knife away, away your fingers and in that way I open very carefully this only outer area. And I take this protective cover away. And now this ripper is... And then I, I have pliers and I carefully... I remove that green plastic. Because I have to take this part invisible, this small electric cable. Okay, and this is this is difficult task because there is not so much the space. And now I okay. Okay, and now now I manage to take this out. Good. And then when I need to connect this my cable to this cable in here, I have to take this copper, this part away. 
and it happens many way. One way is to carefully scratch this cable. Be carefully that you don't hurt your fingers. In that way, this is carefully. Do not hurt your finger. No any blood in case. And in this way, when I work, now I I manage to take this copper out. This is idea. And then I cut this plastic. This is my task. But now I have very thin cable. And that's we we should to use that kind of wires. This cost about 10 US dollars. And this is made even in USA. Illinois USA. And maker is if I read T stripper. T stripper is these things. And I can choose in their different sides of holes. And now I have really thin this cable and that's I take the smallest one. And about one inch or half what I remove this green cable. And I compress this pliers and same time I pull this cable in that way. A look. Now we have nice small cable copper and I have to connect this cable in that one. Okay. Let's do that. That one also this is a little bit difficult because there is small so small amount but I try in that way. Okay good. And there is copper. And now I have to connect these two cables together. And it happens so that I firstly I rotate both sides in that way like rotation rope and in that one also in this way good and then I connect these cables a little bit move these parts in like together and then I only rope I rotate these cables like together nice excellent and now I like to test that that how this my cable connection works because this is critical sometimes we have only one cut in our LED lights and now I connect my electricity in this my power supply this part I connect to electricity and let's look at how is this my light LED light now workable because I connect this loosen and cut cable. Okay and now I connect this my power supply in electricity. Oh yeah good. Now there is this my LED lights they are working excellent and now I notice also that all lights are working. When we look a little bit wider, we can see that all of these my lights are working. This was so easy. And sometimes there can be those cut more and I have to fix these things in this way. But let's install then this my electric tape in this my cutting in here. Okay, and now when we are doing this in a professional way, we need black this electric tape because this cable is black or actually it is dark green sorry but this black is almost same and now I have to repair this my cable in same way like in this one and I do so that firstly I carefully install this my tape in here and then I compress this in this way Good. This is like starting point and now my purpose is to protect this cable and that's I start to rotate and now I connect these another cables also in here in this way. Good. And about 5 to 10 revs. And also in that another side because there is copper we can see this copper in 
in here and that's I have to move that in this way and also I have to compress this tape in like that we have tight and solid this connection in this way and then final part is that I little bit stretch this cable I keep my hands and now it cut and then this way and now now I think that this my repair it is quite satisfactory because there was of these lights 140 okay and now when we are looking this my repair we can see that all lights are working well and in that way I make 30 US dollars savings because this kit cost about 30 US dollars and in that way we can every winter and if there's any repairs we can repair our LED lights and this was so easy and only remember to do this connection what I made and there is this final result and now we can look more and it is this my repair is very difficult to find in that big area okay that kind of information to you and happy christmas my friend and happy new year